guys, welcome back to the vlog. So I'm so excited to show you, I just got my hair done. I'm out of breath from walking down the stairs, that's sad. Basically she just toned my ends. They were super like golden blonde, which I hate. And I'm trying to grow out my natural hair. So my roots were super dark. So I kind of wanted it just to blend better, but I still wanted my ends to be kind of light. She did really cute beachy waves, but my hair sucks. So all the curls kind of came out, but I feel so much better. I feel so much more confident. I love my hair. And my hairdresser actually has a YouTube channel, Abby and Vinny. Her and her husband have such a cute home. They post a ton of home decor, cooking videos, vlogs, and stuff like that. So I'll leave her channel in the description box down below. You should definitely go check her out. And I also kind of wanted to go to Ikea to get another filming table to like do my makeup on when I'm filming because the one I have now is like a little wobbly snack table that I use to film with so I think it's time for a little upgrade but before we leave we have to say bye to the sleepy babies oh <laughs> you tired yeah Quick little outfit of the day. I'm wearing this actual vintage Levi jacket because this was my dad's jacket that I found in the closet. And for me, it's like an oversized denim jacket, which I love. I got this crop long sleeve from Target. And then these are Under Armour joggers and then my dirty trashy white bands. Okay guys, so I'm at Ikea and I found this table and it's only $24. This would be like so perfect to do my makeup on in my room. I honestly wasn't expecting to find anything here that I could like afford. All right, let's go get it. I have to find aisle nine, bin nine. Aisle nine. It's hard to film and steer this cart with one hand at the same time. Aisle nine, bin seven. I took a picture on my phone to make it easier for myself. Okay, got the tabletop and I'm gonna cook it. Now we have to go to bin 20 to get the legs. Make sure it's the right one because that would be tragic if I got home and it wasn't even the right pieces. So I need four of these. All right, I think that's it. Let's go check out. So I came to Ikea by myself, which maybe wasn't the best idea. I had to carry that to my car. I mean, it wasn't heavy, but I just dented my car. I don't know if you could see right there, this. I was trying to hold the table and open my trunk and it swung open into this concrete wall. So now I have a dent in my car. But the table only came out to $27, so can't beat that, right? I did not think that I was gonna find a table, number one, for that cheap. And it seems like it's gonna be pretty easy to assemble. Um, I'll definitely set it up later on camera because I'm so excited that I got a new filming table. You guys are gonna laugh. I'll show you guys my filming setup that I have and it's like so rinky dinky. But now I'm on my way to Whole Foods and I'm kind of in the mood for a smoothie maybe. Usually every time I go to Whole Foods I get a coffee because their coffee is like my favorite, but Kind of in the mood for a smoothie. So besides the fact that I just dented my trunk, Ikea overall was a great time, great experience, got a great deal on that table and I cannot wait to use it. Okay, I don't know if it's like the coronavirus that has everybody like worked up and whatnot. Everybody's like beeping and honking at each other and driving like there's a freaking apocalypse happening or something. And not gonna lie, it was pissing me off, but we made it, we're here. So I got a green juice, I got kale, cucumber, celery, and some lemon. And I don't know how much footage I'm gonna get in here because it is insane, like insane. I cannot believe it. All the water's gone. I don't know if people are food shopping because of like the coronavirus and whatnot, but it's pretty crazy. So I got zero footage in Whole Foods because people are shopping in there like an apocalypse is happening. Like I understand that the whole coronavirus thing is scary and like the germs and whatnot and people wanna stock up just in case. I didn't even get half the groceries I needed because every time I turned there was someone with a cart and I was just getting so frustrated and so annoyed. And then just to top it all off, I'm on the line finally checking out and I'm like reaching in my pockets and stuff like that because I don't have a bag. I just have these big pockets which I could fit everything in. So basically to top it all off as I'm checking out finally after my terrible shopping experience. Meanwhile, let me tell you, I go to the grocery store because it's relaxing to me to like shop and like look around and stuff and like think of like meal ideas and stuff like that. That did not happen today. I couldn't even take out my phone because it was actually bumper cars with the carts. People were like hitting into each other, getting mad, rolling their eyes, like this and that. The parking lot, forget about it. 
But like I said, to top it all off, I finally make it to the checkout line to check out and I notice that I don't have my phone and I'm like, great, wonderful. Have my camera, have my keys, my wallet. Still don't know where I lost it, how I lost it, if it fell out of my pocket. I don't even know who brought it back to customer service, but I get out of line, go up to customer service, they have my phone and basically I hate myself. I'm sweating and there's so much traffic right now. People are acting like the world is coming to an end and I'm getting annoyed. So I'm gonna turn off the camera cause I don't wanna get into a car accident. Yeah, I will see you guys later or something. Hey guys, so I'm home now and what an experience that was being out in public today. That's enough for me for the whole week. I wanna build the new table that I got from Ikea but first I wanted to show you guys my sad little rinky dink setup that I have. Usually when I'm filming, I'm sitting on this chair and you can make it higher, but I don't need it that high because I'm short. So I usually sit on it, boop, make it go lower. And then I have this table, legit a snack table from when I was a kid. I'm usually facing the other way, but then this is the table that I put my makeup and stuff on. And as you can see, not, not sturdy. It's very wobbly. Hey, I have this mirror. It's one of those mirrors that you can like, you know, get all up in. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God, it's like a fun house mirror. Okay. Okay, that's enough of that. But when I'm doing my makeup, this mirror is too low. So I take one of these jars and then I put the mirror on top and I balance it like that. So it's at like eye level for me so that when I'm filming, it's not in the shot, but it's high enough where I can like do my makeup and not have to hold something up the whole time. So this is my current filming setup. And I'm hoping that this table will be a little bit better. Okay, so it's actually like so easy, like stupid easy. It's literally two steps. One, two. So let's hope that I don't mess this up. Basically, you screw this onto the bottom and then you screw that into that piece. And then you have yourself a table. I had to change because I am actually sweating. Okay, that was good and all with this, but I think I have something better. Guys, I built a desk or a table, whatever you wanna call it. And it took me no time at all. It took me 20 minutes and it was less than 30 bucks. Thank God I decided to use power tools because it saved me so much time. I'm gonna put all of my makeup brushes and I could like lay out my palettes and stuff on here. This white surface is gonna get nice and dirty, but that's what it's for, right? It actually fits in my filming corner pretty well. I'm probably gonna store it sideways like in here so that my room just looks a little bit more organized like when everything is put away. It looks like tremendous, but it doesn't come out any further than my bed, which is nice. And pretty much most of my furniture, these are the Alex drawers from Ikea. And then this is the pack system from Ikea. Don't mind my like messy clothes, but everything from there is pretty affordable and it lasts a decent amount of time. Like it's not gonna last you a lifetime and be the most durable furniture that you'll ever buy, but it's simple, it's cute, it's affordable, not sponsored, wish it was. All right guys, I think that's all I have for you in today's video. I'm obsessed with my new desk. I cannot wait to film some beauty videos. They are coming soon. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you're not already, click the subscribe button down below and ring the notification bell because I post videos two times a week. All right guys, I'll see you in the next one.